David Michael, my best friend and light of my life. I'm so incredibly humbled as I'm standing here in front of you because I know with everything in me that I have the absolute best. The fact that you would choose me to walk through this life with is the greatest testament to Jesus' grace and love. Who would have thought that a marriage would come out of a camp friendship? Little did I know that Stony Creek Ranch would help unite me and my future husband. Before arriving at camp, I wrote in my prayer journal that I had two main objectives while I was there. The first, to serve, and second, to show kids the love of Jesus. I also wrote that that summer in 2017 was not for me to gain anything, but to give everything. Honestly, I think because my heart was in the correct posture that God gave me you. Everything changed on that summer night when you texted me a gift that you really liked me. <laughs> we were just friends before then, but it was truly in that moment that I knew your laugh was my favorite sound, your eyes were my favorite view, your dimples made me melt inside. <laughs> I knew it was a forever love when no matter how far in distance or miles we were, I still felt the safest and most loved with you. I won't ever forget four years ago on this day, on the back porch of Guadalupe when you asked me to be your girlfriend and you actually spoke of this moment that we're in right now. Breathtaking. Jeremiah 31, 31 says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judas. Jasmine, I promise that I will walk into this marriage covenant with you just as God established with the Israelites. I knew from day one you were out of my league, and from everything I ever heard of you, it was too good to be true that you would say yes. I say that to say, when you fall, I will catch you, and when you cry, I will comfort you. And when you laugh, I will share your joy. I promise to value the special strengths and gifts God fearfully and wonderfully created in you, to wholeheartedly commit myself to you, viewing our marriage as a lifelong co covenant before God, to love you as Christ loved the church, serving you in a sacrificial way, and submitting to you out of reverence for Christ, to speak words of life over you, communicate with humility in order to build you up, to be quick to listen and slow to speak and quick to forgive, always extending grace and mercy as we grow in marriage. My only expectation of you is zero, and my expectation of myself is a hundred. Jasmine Kinesis, I love you. By the authority of God and the laws of this state, I declare and decree that David Archica and Jasmine Archica are now husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
I know our marriage will be filled with laughter and fun, lots of dancing and celebrating, love and romance. But I also know that a marriage between two people in an imperfect world cannot be perfect. But what I can promise is this. I promise to pursue Jesus first so that I can do my best to demonstrate his perfect love. I promise to honor you always. I promise to be gentle in spirit with you. I promise to see you with the same eyes and heart that I have for you in this exact moment even when times are hard. I promise to remember that our marriage is ultimately not about our happiness, but about our holiness. So I vow to lean on the promise and not the feelings because this covenant and commitment to God is worth everything. I promise to be a warrior with you and to fight for our love and our marriage. I promise that I will hold your hand and follow you wherever God is leading us. And finally, I promise to love you with my whole heart. Today is the easiest day of my life to rejoice in what God has blessed me with, and that's with you. This love that I have for you is not just a feeling, it's a choice and a promise. I choose you now, and I will choose you over and over, without a pause, without a doubt. Welcome to death.